All right, so here we go. Here's my uh, here's what my setup's gonna look like. I got my uh, fuel filter adapter fitting. It goes to a 6AN, a 6AN female uh, valve quick disconnect plug, and here's the female 6AN um, again, but in the socket for this. And uh, I'll show you how these disconnect. It's gonna go shooting across the house. Yeah. So uh, yeah just disconnects just like that it shuts off no fuel comes out and I can there we go I can change take my fuel filters out and not make a mess everywhere so this will actually be still with whatever fuel pressure is in the uh, in the line will actually still be retained in here which is kind of crazy so when I bust this open it's going to have a little bit of fuel pressure in it but that's fine um, it won't make a huge mess. I can put it into a drain pan and open up my filter to clean it. And I've got this here. That'll go onto my hose. It's a hose end. And then I've got the uh, same thing here, except it's hose end and hose end for my secondary line that I'm going to run through my fuel pump or uh, fuel tank hanger off of the um, off of the bulkhead fitting. So that's all going to go primary pump. Is going to power this and the secondary pump is going to go straight through to this and then I've got my flex uh, or excuse me my fuel pressure regulator and uh, I've got a AN fitting put on here um, and that's gonna go straight to my manifold with a braided AN line I don't know just feel like the details is what this is all about so I did that and then um, this will come from the fuel rail back into the uh, regulator. This comes down uh, to the flex fuel sensor, which I've got the uh, nut locking uh, these lock on to place with a actual lock ring, so they actually cannot come off. You know, with pressure. Um, the, the whole sensor would have to explode before this thing would come apart. So, I've got hose end here, and that's going to go back to my stock return. Um, and what I'm going to do, I've got an uh, adapter that I'm going to cut the end of the hard line off and make it a straight, and then I'm going to... It's basically a crush um, uh, fitting for the stock hard line, so I'll have the stock return reused as well. Uh, I wanted to use as much of the factory stuff as I can. I'm going to replace all the uh, factory rubber stuff um, probably at the same time as I do all this, so we'll see. Um, so uh, right here, this is another quick disconnect. This is going to go on that bracket that's on the side of the intake manifold. And so if I ever need to pull the motor, can't do this one-handed. Uh, there we go. The fuel line that goes, that hooks up to the uh, flex fuel sensor will stay in the car, hooked up to this effectively. And when I want to take the motor out, that comes out with it. And uh, leaks no fuel. This will be hooked up to the fuel rail, which of course comes out with the motor. And then these will come out with the motor. There we go. Like so. So the lines, these two lines will come out. And uh, this line will stay with the car. And then the whole motor will come out with these two lines. And the filters will stay behind. Or, or I could take the filters out too and have them come out with the motor. It doesn't really matter. So that was the whole idea behind all of this, was making it to where if I ever want to pull the motor, which will eventually happen when I go with the 3.4 uh, VVTi, um, then I'll be able to do that by simply disconnecting the fuel lines, and I can convert everything over to the new setup. Hope you guys like this. See ya.